Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm back with another next video. Feel free to skip around the video using the chapter markers below in the description. If it's your first time here, previously I did a comparison video between Sims and Mitch. Link to that is at the top right of this video, so check it out if you are interested. Also, over 99% of my viewers are not subscribed, so if you are enjoying the content, do hit that subscribe button, it helps me a ton. Let's get into it. So how did Jericho Sims do during the 5 games he played in Summer League? Let's talk defense first. Now when you are playing as a big, there's no running away from switching onto guards, and I thought Jericho did well in terms of that. He's mobile and he's able to move his hips to stay in front or contain quicker guards, like here. Now Sims is here, right here. Okay, let's see how he does. So he's able to stay with Flynn and Selden steps in to cause a turnover. Now as a big, he will also be put in situations where he has to be in drop coverage. And this is where I think Jericho can do better. Now let's take a look at this one. Jericho is here. Okay, we see the play. Bing runs a screen and roll. He's in the drop coverage. And does not try and stun or disrupt the ball handler, giving Barnes too much space for the easy floater. Now again, same thing. His hands go up too late, allowing the easy pass to the roll man. So how about help defense? He's a pretty good help defender. And here, he's on the weak side right here. Alright, we see the screen and roll happening. He's able to rotate over and help get a block right there. Right, he also knows how to stay vertical. Right, Sims is right here. He's going towards the ball to help. Well, he stays vertical and he causes the turnover without fouling. Now, let's talk the offense now. So his main offensive weapon is as a rim runner, catching lobs with his athleticism as we see in these two clips right here. Oh, crazy jam, right? Head above the rim. It's crazy. His hops allow him to get some very impressive offensive rebounds and putbacks, like what we see here. A quick takes the shot. The tip doesn't go in, he gets the rebound and a ferocious dunk. But that's not his only threat on offense. He has moves and is able to finish inside using good footwork, like we see here. So Jericho is here, he's going to go set the high ball screen. Right, they move the ball around and they get it to him inside, right? Makes a good spin move, nice little jump hook. He can also finish in transition, like we see here. Now quickly, he's pushing the ball in transition. Now Jericho is the trailing big, now he finishes the play with a nice floater. So can Jericho shoot the ball? I would say his form looks fine. Right here we're going to see him shoot a couple of free throws. Right, looks like decent form. Now on closer look, we can see here as he gets ready to shoot the ball. Right, the ball is aligned to the shooting side. There's no thumb flick as he releases the ball. Elbows are not flaring out. And he has a good follow through. Right. Let's see when he's shooting further away from the hoop. Now this is the only three he got up in summer league. Right, let's take a look. They move the ball around, he shoots, he's on the wing, he releases the ball. The ball doesn't go in. Right. But it looks like he's shooting with pretty good form. Now let's dial it back a little bit, right? So the ball is gonna pass to Jericho. All right. Now in terms of flow, it looks pretty fine to me. The ball is lifting as his legs are extending. Good lift and good transfer of energy. If he works on it more, I feel he can become a decent shooter and a threat from pick and pop situations. Jericho was one of the last guys 
drafted, staying four years in college, without shooting threes, was probably the reason he dropped to almost the end of the draft. But I'm not complaining. I think he has good upside and he should be a great matchup for Mitch in training camp. I give him a great A. So there you have it. Drop a comment down below. We already have Mitch, Nerlens and Taj at the 5. Do you think Jericho will get a chance to play or will he be sent to the G League? Subscribe for more future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.